What's up guys, Danielle here, NeutralSupport.net, coming at you to answer a burning question on my own mind and hopefully on yours. Do you need a JIS screwdriver? The answer is no. Yes. Oh man. There are three facts that all are true. Shimano, Japanese company, they use JIS screws when they use crosshead screws. Actually identified with that small dimple inside the cross. So that means that this is a JIS screw on a Shimano derailleur. As long as bikes are alive, it seems like we'll be working on Shimano stuff so they will have JIS screws. A JIS screwdriver is designed to not cam out when you turn it. So under torque is designed to not turn out. A Phillips head screwdriver was designed to turn and cam out under certain torque so that people assembling aluminum airplanes or sheets would not damage the actual product. It would not let them torque it past a certain amount. People in Japan were like, we want to determine how much we torque things and we want to be able to get things out once the screws are in. So we're going to actually make something that doesn't cam. So that's what the JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard, was originally for. Shimano uses them. They're designed not to cam out. And they're also 100% compatible with Phillips head screws. So when you take those three facts into consideration, you absolutely do need a JIS screwdriver because a JIS screwdriver will always work with what you're working on, but a Phillips head screwdriver won't. So a Phillips head having a longer tip will actually not engage with the JIS screws as well, leading to you stripping them out, especially on a tighter screw. So if you want to end the video here, go buy a vessel, JIS screwdriver, a JIS compatible screwdriver, and be done with it. You do need one. Put this on your bench, replace all your Phillips heads, you're done. But if you want to know why it's not that straightforward, keep watching. There's no knowing where we're rowing, rowing, or which way the river's flowing. So at some point in the annals of history, JIS actually disappeared. So you still see the JIS screws with their dimple, like we talked about. But the actual Japanese industrial standard no longer exists, or it, it, it exists, but no longer is manufactured under. So companies like Vessel, who's actually the company that's been making JIS the longest, that's still in production, they make what they call a JIS compatible screwdriver. What that means is they're actually manufacturing under a different tolerance. So there's another standard called ISO 8764-1. If you compare a number two Phillips head under that standard to a number two JIS screwdriver, the angles for all of the important things are the same. Where they differ is actually the length of the flute. The new ISO standard has a longer flute here than the actual JIS standard. It would appear that no one actually manufactures anything that's true JIS at this point. Vessel would know, and they're the ones that say that that is true. A lot of things are called JIS that are actually just this modified Phillips head standard. So what we find with that, which makes the waters kind of murky, is there's a lot of JIS labeled stuff that's great. So Vessel makes some. We have bits from people like Motion Pro where you can replace all your quarter inch bits with a JIS compatible bit. They call this just a JIS bit, but according to Vessel, nobody actually makes true JIS. So we have those bits. We have Hoson making a whole kit of screwdrivers, but it's funny because even these Hoson screwdrivers, when you look at the translation of this tag right here, it'll tell you something really interesting. So another fun tidbit is S-Tech Shimano's learning program. You actually get rewards occasionally and they sent out a screwdriver with replaceable quarter inch bits with it. And guess what kind they sent? A Phillips head number two. So we have all of these things right here from Vessel Hoson Motion Pro, all claiming to be JIS. We have this, we have this park tool 
JIS screwdriver that can barely fit in the screen because it's so long, but the JIS here on the end that they claim is JIS, if you compare it to the other ones, just is much longer. So the tip is actually probably two millimeters longer from the end. It still works, but it's also very long. I just really don't enjoy this tool very much because the handle is super nice, but it needs to be like an inch and a half shorter so that you're a normal distance from what you're working on. But they claim that this is JIS. They also on their tube, on the packaging, kind of funny. It says, professional cross tip number two Phillips driver precisely machined to exceed JIS standards. So machined to exceed JIS standards, I have no idea what they're talking about. So if you want it to be JIS, that meant certain angles, certain flute distance. It had nothing to, well, maybe a little bit to do with tolerances, but it was less about tolerances and more about the angles so that when you engage with the screw, the tip wasn't hitting the bottom of the cross before the flutes could engage with the cross. That's why a true Phillips head screwdriver, which is hard to find a representation of, but a true Phillips head screwdriver has a very long flute here. The tip is long so the end actually hits the bottom of the screw before engaging all the way. So that's why when you insert a Phillips head screwdriver into a JIS screw, you get less engagement in there and they just want to turn out. If you've experienced the frustration of stripping a Phillips head screw, it's because the tip here is not allowing you to engage fully. So JIS has a shallower profile, so you need a shallower profile on your screwdriver. The good news is that the new Phillips head standard, that ISO 8764-1, actually does have a shallower profile. So despite these all being called JIS, some other screwdrivers in the world that are just number two will also have a JIS profile. So it's not necessarily about finding a JIS screwdriver, though there are many choices that will definitely be compatible. You may already have a screwdriver that's manufactured to this new tolerance that you could use. You just have to be choosy about which one you get. So what's nearly as important as whether or not the tip profile is correct is the size. So a lot of your trouble with stripping out a screw will be because you're using the wrong size screwdriver. So if you look at this Hoson kit, it's a good example. This is double zero, zero, one, and two. So if you're using a zero instead of a one, you can see that that would be a dramatically different profile and you would end up stripping out a screw that was a one if you tried to use a zero. So finding a tip that actually is the right size is probably step number one. Even if you have a profile that's more like a true Phillips head screwdriver, if you're using the right size, you have a better chance of that working than if you're using the wrong size. That's true about everything, but once you get into it, the right size and the right profile is like the perfect synergy where everything works out. So this park tool came with a kit of bits. That's the QTH1. I always thought, why don't all bike tools just come with JIS? It doesn't make any sense to give us a regular Phillips head anymore. They should all just be JIS bits. And initially I thought it was them being negligent and not giving us JIS bits because it was easier to manufacture Phillips head or it was more common. I'm starting to think based on comparing these that that's not the case, but instead that if you compare these, this is a JIS number two and the what they call a Phillips head number two from the park tool kit. The profiles and the angles are very similar and this actually engages very well as if it was made in that ISO standard that we were talking about. So while it is not called JIS, it is a shorter Phillips head bit. It has the matching angles that we were talking about and it does engage with the screws correctly. So in my research, since it turns out that ISO and JIS are gonna be at least very, very close, just forgive the flute length, which is true about this too if we compare the flute length between these two. The JIS bit on the left does have a shorter flute before the curb, which is beneficial to engage the screw, but the tips there are not all that different. And this seems to be more of a compromise between a Phillips and a JIS than it is the anti-JIS that I thought it was before. 
Worth noting, Park Tool has two additional slots on this tool, so that if you did want something like a GIS bit and a Phillips head because you're crazy, you could put your additional GIS bit at the end. There's no reason to have both in the bike industry, which is the whole point. The whole conclusion that I'm making is you need to be able to engage with GIS screws. The GIS screwdrivers will work, so why have anything else? So aside from the Megalodora, which seems to be Vessel's most popular screwdriver for GIS, it does have this cool ridge here on the end. So these jaws, some of what makes the purchase good is that it has this textured tip so that you can actually grab on. They call it jaws fit, but that actually makes it so that you can grab the screw and the purchase is really good. They don't extend that to their other screwdriver, which is a cool reversible bit screwdriver that has GIS 2. It comes with multiple of these, so I have a GIS 1, 3, 2, and a flathead. So this is what I keep in the bench. I actually use this a lot more than the Megalodora. I wish that they had put the grippy jaws on the end of this so that you could grip the screw kind of like their other screwdriver. I haven't had any problems with slipping with this either, but they do claim that this is a GIS profile and it does work really well with the Shimano screws. So the three places that I find Phillips heads on a bike are the screws on the rear derailleur from Shimano, these screws on top of these shifters to take these covers off. Shimano likes to use crosshead screws for all of their plastic covers, which is super annoying because they're usually really small. I've had issues stripping these out in the past because the shifter's facing up so the weather lands on it. I've used these Pedro screwdrivers for years and I tend to strip out this screw with this exact screwdriver. I started using the GIS smaller size, so the one as opposed to the two. Awesome. So the one actually engages super well with these screws so you can actually get in there and turn it. That has no movement at all, which is awesome. Some of that, of course, is the texture, but this actually might not be a GIS screw. The benefit of the GIS profile or the GIS compatible profile is that it doesn't cam out, so when you put torque on it, it can handle it. And that's the part that we're going for with these. Even if this is a Phillips head screw, the GIS torquing will let you get it out, as opposed to it camming out and then stripping this little screw. So it saved my butt a couple times so far. And the other sizes, I have GIS number one on the reversible screwdriver as well. Totally worth it. You see a crosshead screw on shifters, you see a crosshead screw on rear derailleurs, and you see a crosshead screw on those cheap V-brake adjustment. All of those conditions can benefit from not camming out under torque. One of the things that we've noticed though is even Shimano, this XTR is a generation or two old and even it had hex adjustment screws. So things are kind of migrating towards that. We still see the JIS on some of their stuff, but they're higher end road and higher end mountain bike all use hex adjustment screws now instead of the JIS. So we may be seeing them migrate away from it totally. This may be a moot point, but anytime you have a stuck Phillips head screw, even the JIS profile will help you get it out. And that's the key. If you can have one tool that does everything, get a JIS screwdriver because it works in every condition and a Phillips head screwdriver doesn't. One tool does both things, be done with it. So there's your answer. Do you need a JIS screwdriver? Yes. Do they exist? Not actually, but you can get these JIS compatible screwdrivers that will make your life so much easier. You'll be able to get screws out without stripping them. You'll be able to salvage screws that maybe otherwise wouldn't have come out with a Phillips head screwdriver. All around just a really necessary tool for the mechanic and a few really good options from the very inexpensive hose-on to the vessel to getting the quarter inch bits from Motion Pro. All great options to have GIS on your tool bench and not worry about this ever again. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, go ahead and like it. You can comment below if I missed anything. Subscribe to the channel for more. If you hit the notification button, it'll tell you every time I put one of these out. Head over to NeutralSupport.net. I've got cool swag, aprons, hats, other stuff. You can help us feed our families, do all kinds of neat things like get more tools, make more videos. But as always, I hope you have a good day.